On February 1st, a Russian Tu-22M3 strategic bomber launched a KH-22 supersonic anti-ship missile, designated a S-4 kitchen by NATO, intended for a strike on Ukrainian targets. However, the missile deviated from its path and crashed in Russia's Lipetsk region, hundreds of kilometers from the conflict zone. Social media reports indicate the missile exploded in the Yelets district of Lipetsk, with video footage capturing a powerful detonation. Experts are speculating on the cause, with theories ranging from a guidance system failure to issues with the missile's fuel. Russia has so far used its KH-47M2 Kinzhal and KH-22 missiles to strike high-value strengthened targets such as underground storage depots and command centers. The KH-47 is the preferred weapon for precision strikes on targets such as a decision-making center, and the KH-22, because of its bigger warhead, is the preferred weapon for strikes on area targets such as fuel and ammunition depots. The KH-22 missile was developed in the early 1960s to penetrate adversary air defense and destroy large ships, aircraft carriers, military bases, ships, power plants, and bridges. The KH-32 is a physically identical updated variant of the KH-22. The KH-32 was designed to be carried by the Tu-22M3 supersonic bomber and was accepted into service in 2016. The new missile features a conventional warhead, an improved rocket motor, and a new radar imaging terminal seeker. It has a longer range but a smaller warhead. The KH-22 missile seeker operated at fixed frequencies, making it susceptible to radar jamming. The multi-frequency radar seeker of the KH-32 is less susceptible to radar jamming. The KH-32 cruises at speeds between M3.5 to M4.6, 4,000 to 5,400 km per hour or 1,100 to 1,500 meters per second, at altitudes up to 40 km. The missile has a max range of 1,000 km and its radar seeker can lock onto its target at ranges varying between 200 to 300 km. The missile reportedly has two launch modes. The KH-32 can be launched in either high-altitude or low-altitude mode. In high-altitude mode, it climbs to an altitude of 27,000 meters (89,000 feet) and makes a high-speed dive into the target, with a terminal speed of about Mach 4.6. In low-altitude mode, it climbs to 12,000 meters (39,000 feet) and makes a shallow dive at about Mach 3.5. The KH-32 has three trajectory sections. The launch trajectory section to reach cruising altitude, the cruising section to fly at the 40-kilometer ceiling, and the final one when it nosedives to attack. Both missiles use accurate inertial navigation to arrive at the target and radar image comparison for terminal tracking. As such, neither missile can be jammed. The KH-32 is designed to elude adversary air defense ad, systems by flying beyond their speed and altitude engagement envelopes to the extent possible and then diving onto the target at steep angles. AD radars are not able to track a target overhead or near overhead. The Kinzel is similarly designed to elude adversary AD systems by flying beyond their speed and altitude engagement envelope. Despite being a significantly smaller and lighter missile than the KH-22, the Kinzel has a longer range. Its ability to fly at hypersonic speeds and maneuver allows it to use a flatter approach trajectory that increases range. Both the KH-32 and Kinzel present themselves as aerodynamic targets, not ballistic targets. Their approach speed and height are well beyond the engagement envelopes of NATO AD systems deployed in Ukraine including the U.S. Patriot systems. Close to the target, their height comes within the engagement envelope, but their speeds remain well beyond. 
Though both the KH-22 and Kinzel flight characteristics are beyond the engagement capability of AD radars, it is possible for AD systems to attempt engagement and take their chances. As such, Ukrainian claims of having shot down Russian Kinzel missiles should be taken with a pinch of salt but cannot be entirely dismissed. The KH-32 missile is claimed to be completely invulnerable to enemy interceptors and air defense systems because it can withstand hits from a 20mm rotary cannon or air-to-air -air missiles. Perhaps the most outstanding feature of the KH-32 is its reported ability to exchange target information in flight with another KH-32. According to the Russian media, the ability was incorporated in order to outwit adversary air defense when attacking a carrier battle group, CBG. While attacking a CBG, only one missile switches on its radar seeker to precisely locate the aircraft carrier. Other missiles in the attack package, which may be coming from different directions, remain dark by keeping their seekers off. If the missile with the active seeker is shot down, another missile in the package can take over the role. In the Ukrainian context, operating in pairs, one missile fitted with radar emission sensors could act as a decoy. It would present itself as a target just to pinpoint the location of the AD radar. Having pinpointed an AD radar it could relay the coordinates to the other missile of the pair, which would then dive down almost vertically from very high altitudes and destroy the AD radar. The range of the KH-32 homing warhead is reportedly 200 to 300 kilometers. In the context of the SMO, it would allow the weapon system operator on the launching 222M to reassign the missile to a target of opportunity, such as a just-identified AD system. Ukrainians likely fear the KH-32 more than the Kinzel because Russian forces have used many more KH-32s as compared to Kinzels. The KH-22 variant, with its 900kg warhead, is more destructive, and KH-32s have proven more difficult to shoot down than hypersonic missiles such as Kinzels and Iskander-M. As to why Russian forces are not using KH-32s instead of the more vulnerable and less destructive calibers, the answer is easy. Caliber cruise missiles are cheaper and can be launched from more platforms, airborne, sea surface, and undersea than KH-32s, which can only be launched from 222M3.